Hello, my name is John Britton. I am the author of Feats of Exploration, an alternate reward system for old school RPGs. This little pamphlet is intended for use with the old school essential system, but it can be slotted seamlessly into any RPG that uses point-based experience combined with a robust leveling system. I have personally playtested this system with my own group for over 50 sessions of hardcore mega dungeon crawling. You can see those sessions online on our YouTube channel or our website, 3d6downtheline.com, for which I am the referee. In addition, in every session show notes, there are links to the individual worksheets that I use per session in order to track the feats of exploration, which you can peruse at your leisure. As more and more people were exposed to 3D6 down the line and saw the feats of exploration in action, it did engender some commentary in various corners of the internet. So I decided that feats of exploration would be a great candidate for 3D6 down the line's very first publication. The product is available in both PDF and in soft cover, full color as well. The prices are only $2.95 for the PDF and $4.95 for the soft cover, which does include a copy of the PDF as well. So you can certainly click on the preview images to get a feel for what the system entails and what the pamphlet looks like. It's only about 16 pages, but I thought I'd give a quick run through of what we're talking about here if you are unfamiliar with the system that I have developed. Going into the PDF itself, you'll be happy to see that we have bookmarks here on the left-hand side. And in addition, I have fully hyperlinked the document as well. So you can click on our website here or email me with any comments or suggestions, which I highly recommend you do. And in addition to the table of contents, each of these is clickable and will take you to the corresponding page. It's a very, very lightweight system, however. My introduction here basically goes into my intent in creating the system, which is basically an old school role playing game. You have two primary ways of gaining XP by the book, which is defeating monsters, which does not get you a lot of XP and gaining treasure. One gold piece equals one XP, which is the main way of getting XP. However, as GM, sometimes we don't have the time, luxury, or patience to actually carefully place treasure in a manner that ensures a careful pace of leveling for the characters in the group. Feats of Exploration helps in this manner because it adds a third manner of gaining XP at a much more regular pace, and it's all based upon the mathematics of old-school D&Ds or old-school essentials, point-based experience systems for each class. You can see here on the chart on the right that these are the feats of exploration that can be achieved specifically for dungeon crawling, which is the list that I use for my Halls of Arden Vool actual play series with my group. It's about awarding players with experience point for actually engaging activities that promote the old school play style and exploration. So as you can see here, we have things like lore, where if the player applies in-world lore in a useful or flavorful manner, they get an XP reward for doing that. If they overcome a trap in an interesting way, they get XP for that. If they use their equipment or abilities or skills in a certain manner that is really, really creative, you award them for that as well. And the list goes on. What's really, really nice about this system is that it's modular. You, as a referee or GM, can add or subtract different feats according to the demands of your campaign. In fact, you can actually adopt this to any sort of game that you're playing, whether it be a city campaign, a hex crawl campaign, or a planner campaign. And in the back of the book, I actually have a couple of examples of how you can actually adjust this list for those settings in milieu. So the procedure is very, very simple. Every session, you're going to print out a copy of this two-page spread, which is your worksheet. And you're going to fill it in according to the instructions given on the preceding page, which is the procedure. First thing you're going to do is just note the number of players that are actually playing in a given session. It doesn't matter what their current XP total is. What you're looking for is the span of XP between the previous level and the level that they're attempting to attain. And you're going to note that number for every single player character. The total of this number for all of the PCs combined is known as the party TXP. And this number is going to remain constant throughout the session unless one of the PCs drops out, perhaps dies, and someone new is introduced, in which case you need to recalculate it based upon the new character's TXP. Each of the feats on the sheet has been categorized as either minor, major, extraordinary, or campaign. And I give advice for how to determine what category a given feat should be in. Each category is a certain percentage of the party TXP. So a minor yields 2% of the TXP, major 5%, extraordinary 10, and campaign a whopping 15% of the total party TXP needed. You calculate these values and input them into the sheet, and then you play your session as normal, noting down instances of the PCs achieving these feats as you go. You then calculate 
all of the XP that was gained for the feats, you divide it by the number of players, just like you would for monster XP and treasure gained, and that is the per PC reward. As you can see, it's very, very simple. And I have actually provided design notes here, as you can see on the right-hand page, which explains my reasoning for designing the system and implementing it and how I think it will benefit your old school game. And lastly, a few other things that you're gonna find inside this little pamphlet is a section for best practices for the referee, which just gives you some advice about how to run this during the session. And lastly, I provide a thorough procedure example of seeing the system in use using a made up party so that you can see how the numbers actually play out in a hypothetical situation. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and checking out Feats of Exploration. I'm actually very proud of it and I'd love to hear your thoughts about how you've been able to implement this in your game and how it worked for you. So please feel free to reach out to me on 3d6downtheline.com, on our YouTube page, or on our public Discord server. This is a great way to support 3D6 Down the Line, and your purchase will show us that these are the sorts of products that you'd like to see more of from us. So thank you again, and I hope you have a great day. Take care.